So you, right. we're in the basement. We're in the basement. I'm Campbell, that's Jeff. <laughs> we're we're going to look at stereo. We're, look at, we're, we're in stereo. We are in stereo now. And this is an experiment, isn't it, Jeff? It is. And we're going to have a look at some old camera equipment. We haven't got very much new camera equipment here, except yeah. the stuff yeah. that's working at the moment, yeah. Yeah. which is good. Yeah. This, this is a, a stereo camera. So you'll be, if you're wearing a pair of these, which Jeff will model, uh, with a red lens and a blue lens, you'll be seeing us in stereo. It's the separation of your eyes. Like your eyes see each slightly different view of the world. Mm, mm, so mm. your brain actually puts that together to make 3D. Mm. Here we are, we're opening a compactus. <laughs> so, first thing we're looking at, yeah. a um, single lens camera, probably yeah. from the 1860s period. The Cyclops. That's right. The one that um, they also used for stereo views, yep. but to do a stereo view you actually move the entire camera on its stand it to get the two views. It probably would have had a special Some of them tripod had special with, a, with a measured uh, thing along it so you could you'd, you'd do your pairs, your stereo pairs, and record mm -hmm. what you're doing until they work, because like you said they took a while to work out exactly how far apart and until they came up with this. That's right. So um, some of the backs had a movable back, yep. so you could actually slide the back across yep. to create the same effect. But so they'd move the camera slightly and slide the back, so they didn't have to reload it. And they were in use right up until the 18, late 1860s. Um, but in the early 1850s, they introduced some commercially made stereo cameras. Ah, so like this one. This one. This beautiful Ottawa, and um, it. Um, has the same, it's exactly the same except it has the twin lenses yes. and you can see it's got a little bit of separation on the front to extend the um, And you, exaggerate you that. mentioned that that, that, c that can accentuate the stereo effect. Yes. If you, if, you, if, you, you know, if you push them out, that seems to be their limit. Yeah. It, you, you, you're getting, uh, you're accentuating the, a, a foreground background when you've got, you know, one object, because that's what you're seeing when you, that's what you're really picking out when you're looking at, uh, this kind of st stereo image yeah. is you're seeing something drift in front and behind which really brings it to life isn't it well it's really interesting when you look at the yeah. stereos through a uh, lenticular viewer which we have a look at in a minute yeah. you can see that it's actually like a series of mm. planes on a on a, um, a stage so it doesn't look like real 3d no. it's like you can see a whole lot of props on a stage with different bits of the curtain yeah. sort of revealing different parts of the stage set so it's kind of got a bit of a, it looks a bit false. Yeah, it is theatrical, it's the theatrical, right way to, yes. to think about it, isn't it, and talk about it. So yeah, that, this is the Brewster viewer, right? Yeah. So there's, there's the, the stereo image that you've got as a result of taking an, an image with this camera, then printing it, re, you know, reversing it, as you said. And we're looking at a view of uh, the corner of George and... Hunter Street. Hunter Street, yeah. Sydney. Yeah, about 1860. And, and you'd, uh, as we said uh, earlier, this is, is found popular uh, use in the parlour if you know, mm. your, your sister was playing the piano and you wanted to do something else you know other than read the newspaper or a book or knit you could l use a, a, a stereo viewer and travel the world I can't you yeah. know uh, the problem with that one is it doesn't have any lenses in it but you know no, yes. right. Would that have made a difference? It will make a huge difference. Well, uh, yes, that's what I'm just <laughs> noticing. Why? Why? Yeah. It, it is a slight failing yeah, of yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. the stereo effect without the lens. Right. But yeah. Okay. And what, have, have, what else have we got here? This um, is, yes, we got the taxi folk. Taxi, so taxi phone. Taxi folk. Taxi folk. Yep. And even a next step up. These yep. were yep. you can actually get these in um, uh, commercial you see, centres. I'm now behind Jeff. Yeah. And they, um, you know, you could load them up yep. with lots of um, stereo images. This one's, although this one looks like it's probably from around the 1910, somewhere mm. around there, mm. right up until the 1920s, they were using these taxi and you've phones. Got, and there's this glass at the back here, of course, to let the light through. You'd be looking, you'd be, yeah. that'd be facing the window. Yep. And some of them had a, a lid that you would lift off mm. and then mm. a mirror on the top that would reflect, to, to reflect the light. reflect light into it, yes. Yeah. Make it look a bit better. 